The government, led by former Prime Minister Tillman Thomas in 2008, promised to introduce a Freedom of Information Act. However, that never materialized, and today, Grenada remains one of few countries in the Caribbean that remains without such legislation. The promise, which resulted in several consultations with the Media Workers Association, stalled at a draft stage. Now the NDC is promising to resume consultation with the media to bring the draft document into a complete legal document. Mr. Thomas says such legislation will allow for the questioning of those in authority. This is a party that respects our institution to the extent that in the Parliament of Grenada we move to remove criminal libel from the books so that we could free up the, the, the media in particular, and to give you people the opportunity to speak out. Information should be flown. There shouldn't be any restriction on information in a democratic society. Addressing party supporters at a meeting in St. John, Mr. Thomas spoke of the significance of the Freedom of Information Act. A Freedom of Information Act is going to be part of the transformation of Grenada under the National Democratic Congress. And you must recognize the importance of this. Because with the Freedom of Information Act, those in authority would have to account for the shrimp farm in St. Mark's. You could question them on it. But because there is no Freedom of Information Act, we are, we are limited. This is why they never advance or put forward the Freedom of Information Act. What I'm saying to you tonight, brothers and sisters, with that act coming into force, they would have to account for the funds under the CBI pro program. You could call upon them to come for it. Thomas, who was Prime Minister of Grenada from the period 2008 to 2013 and leader of the NDC from 2000 to 2014, appeared on the NDC platform last evening in Gov, this time to endorse Kirin James, the candidate for the constituency of St. John. He called on party supporters to throw their full support behind her. As far as I could recall, I believe that Sister Kirin James would be the youngest member of parliament to be elected, no, youngest person to be elected in the parliament of Grenada. I don't know what he, if anybody could question that, but I believe I have not known of a younger person who presented himself to be a member of parliament, and we have our sister here. She was also a member of the Senate, so she's really making history in the parish of St. John's. And this parish has created history in the past with Kirani James. So you must not miss this opportunity to make sure that you elect the youngest member of parliament in the history of Grenada on the 23rd of June, 2022. The former prime minister says that elected members are placed into office as trustees, not as bosses, and so must account to the people. However, democracy can only be possible with the proper structures in place. Christina John, GBN News.